Hi guys, and welcome back to Machine Learning Libraries with C++. This is section five, where we're going to be looking at implementation with OpenCV. So in this section, we're going to look at, you know, in the standard way, environment setup of OpenCV. We're then going to look at face detection, uh, which is our specific example, which is quite a nice one to get involved with. We'll then look at library specific features, um, just like we have in all the other videos. So firstly, Video 5.1, Environment Setup of OpenCV. So, and then we're going to be looking at installing OpenCV. So, what depends does OpenCV require? Well, it requires the build essentials from the compiler. Uh, it also requires CMake, uh, GTK, all of these various codecs and formats for images and video files. And then optionally, you can install Python and NumPy, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. You can copy and paste these off the OpenCV website. Uh, and if you just, you know, Google install OpenCV, you'll be greeted with how to do that. Um, and we install it in the following way. Uh, first, you need to download the latest OpenCV. And then you need to make a release or a build file folder. Uh, and then run CMake and finally make. And then sudo make install so you know. You, it's installed in your um, user local as opposed to uh, locally um, in wherever you download it. Let's just quickly see how we do this. So first we need to make a build directory. We then need to go into the build directory, run the CMake, specifying that it's a release and specifying the install prefix, which should be user local. And we then need to do make. And this might take some time depending on which machine you've got. So you might want to go grab a coffee, etc. And then you do sudo make install. Just like so. So then now you go, we've installed OpenCV. Uh, let's look at how we link against it. So you need to include all the relevant header files in your program. Um, so include, you know, for the next example, you'll need these three. Uh, but there are a variety of other ones. Uh, the main one is OpenCV2 core. Uh, so to compile, when we're compiling with G++, because it's a bit well, it removes the step of using CMake. Uh, I couldn't get it to compile with individual libraries. I had to use all of them in OpenCV, uh, which obviously makes compilation quite long. So these are all, if you want to use G++ on the command line, uh, I don't recommend it. Uh, this is what you need to link against. So all of these, and you can obtain these by package config minus minus libs minus minus superx open cv um, I do recommend for your project you, projects you use CMake uh, just because it's easier and I'm sure you know you already do and I don't need to tell you the advantages of doing so um, but yeah so that's open cv uh, now installed on our system and we're ready to kind of move on now <laughs> 